Hello, today we're taking a look at this Anchor Nano 2 65 watt power adapter. If you're new to the channel, there's a whole series on these power adapters where I test them for power in and out while also comparing them to other offerings. There are billions of power adapters in use and this series will help you make an informed buying decision since not all devices are created equal. So let's get into it. Take a look at their box. You can see it's pretty understated. They just basically tell you the model number. So the usual, it's a pretty typical Anchor box. I cheated a little. All right, so here's the device. Seems pretty basic. Got the Nano 2 65 watt on the side. Over here we can see it has a, a TUV, Canada US safety listing. It's got some other marks for different countries. Six for efficiency. You can see it's got a serial number, full model number, and it tells you all the different kinds of voltages it can do. And we're gonna check that later on. Just for a quick size comparison, I have a couple of other Anchor power adapters here. Here we have the Anchor Nano 2 65 watt. Here's the Anchor Nano 2 45 watt. And here's the Anchor Nano 2 30 watt. So when you just put them all next to each other, you can see 65 watts the biggest one, but really the size doesn't get that much larger as you go up in size. You know, for more than twice as much power out of this one, volume wise, it's really not that much bigger. So the 45 watt unsurprisingly sits right in the middle. 45 watts gonna be a video for another day, so stay tuned for that one. The ubiquitous, happy? Not happy. I said that backwards. Good enough. There's always a user manual. They don't tell you as much as they used to in these, so this one just tells you input, output. The packaging weighs 23 grams. The power adapter weighs 116 grams. Definitely on the heavier side. All right, let's plug it in. Check out the idle. So we can see this has settled down to around 0.03 watts, which is a pretty good number, actually. You can see the power factor is miserable, so I'm assuming this is using a little bit of VA, which might be a good sign for the THD. So our current THD is only 19%, so that means this has some filtering on it. But I bet when we put a load on this device, we'll see that this number is going to pop up. So I have my decoy board set up over here. And we can go ahead and push the button and check the different voltages that it can provide. So we're looking right here for these different voltages. So we see 5 volts, 9 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts, and a 21 volt PPS mode. You can see this THD number popped up just from changing to the different modes. Let's go ahead and put like a 10 watt load on it. So yeah. That's expected. The THD number actually popped way up. It's not a power factor corrected device, which essentially it, it's not required for a 65 watt adapter to have a power factor correction. So why would they do it? So the different voltage modes that you can get on your power adapter are useful so, because there are different standards for charging your devices. So specifically the PPS mode and the power delivery 3.0 modes are what we're testing with this. And it has several of the available options. It does skip 12 volts, which is optional. All right, so here I have the device running at its full rated load, 65 watts. And we see over here, it's using about 70 off the wall. So it's, it's pretty efficient. It's really, really among the, it's among a class leader for efficiency. You know, 92% through and through is, is very, very good. Uh, but this is what we don't like to see. We see a very, very high peak amps. So it's using a lot of current to, to do this work. You know, this number shouldn't be that high for 65 watts out basically. But because of that low power factor, it's not, as efficient at using the AC power. That's just a side effect of power adapters of this type and style. So let's go ahead and take this up to overload and see what it can do. So 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 72, 74, 75, and it's out. And I see something here. You can see this voltage is still reading zero. I sat and gave this some time to sit and recover and I found that it doesn't recover on its own. You have to disconnect the USB cable, and then you'll see this number suddenly drop. There it goes. So that number drops to 0.03, and that means we can plug this back in. And now we're back with our five volts over here. So you do have to actually disconnect the cable when an overload condition happens with this power adapter. It's a little bit of an annoyance, but overall, you know, it's okay. Okay, so overall, when we look at this power adapter, we can see that it's it's okay. It's kind of like the other anchor adapter. It's it's a solid adapter. It's good. It's better than, you know, cheap garbage basically, but it is not the top of the stack. No power factor correction. It falls in in the line with the other power adapters that are available, but the issue that I have with it is that it it falls pretty far short of the Amazon Basics 65 watt adapter. And that's kind of a problem because this adapter is almost $60. So this is a premium priced product. The only thing it has is a little bit of a higher efficiency in terms of power conversion. But it, in terms of power quality, I expected a little more and I was a little bit disappointed by this one. It does have some positives though. In terms of a device you want to leave plugged in for idling, 
This device is awesome. It has very low THD, is very low power consumption, and has reasonable power quality for doing nothing. For that mode, this is actually a great power adapter. And even when it's only using 10 watts for charging a device, the efficiency is already almost 90%. So this can be a class leader in some aspects. All right, so when we take a look at the overall results for this device, we can see that it, it, has, it has very good power efficiency. That's kind of the first thing that popped out as a positive for this one. But the thing that comes out as a negative is the THD that shoots up way too high in the middle and then doesn't really ever come back down. And it also has pretty poor power factor. And that's just a side effect of this style of adapter. I don't think there's anything that can be done about that. So it just puts it in the class for this type of power adapter. Uh, with a score of 94, it's besting smaller power adapters, but it's certainly not the best of the 65 watt class. When we compare this to all the other devices, we can see that it beats out the average power adapter, but it's not beating the Amazon adapter or any of the power factor corrected adapters. Not even close to those. When we look at the idle for this thing though, we can see that it's actually it's actually very good. So it, it, it's got a good idle power quality score and the idle power consumption is very low. Overall, it's not a bad adapter, not a bad choice to leave plugged in. When we look at the graph for the overall data, we see that it's, it's there, it's on the graph, but it's just not the best. So overall, we come back to that cost perspective and at $60, it's just, it's too expensive for what you're getting. When we look at the Amazon Basics adapter, you know, we see a little bit of better power quality and it's a third the price. All right, so overall, the Nano 265 watt is not my first choice. It's not a bad adapter. If you just need to get a power adapter and you need 60 watts or so, this is gonna do the job. It's efficient, it's not gonna get warm. It's got safety ratings. It's, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's a safe adapter, it's a good quality adapter, and it meets all the specs that it, it claims and it's in the user manual, so there's, there's no problems with it in that perspective. I just know that there's things out there that are better. And obviously, we've shown a few of them on this channel, and there's going to be many more. All right, so thanks for watching the video. You know I have a whole series on these, so you know, go check them out, see if you can uh, make heads or tails of them all. I'm certainly looking for input on that. So you know, leave, leave a note down in the comments for what power adapters you wanna see going forward, and uh, thanks again. Bye.